something for me to say? Very well. I'm a person. What are you saying? You're our leader. When you led, we followed. Yes. And when you spoke, we listened. Yes. And when you bled, we... we... found it in a blast of glass. <laughs> Others can take my place. Neil, I'm going to meet me a broken mold. You were always our guiding star. The first time I was here to win the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> it was your glance and Edward against Brazil that took us to the final of the World Cup. Oh, don't think my heart is not heavy with the sweet song of this goodbye. Hey! But, although voices are calling, I shall return. And we're all the way at the jams at breakfast. 
Silk up his of course. That's very clever from the court. And then we're doing our fried bread in the pyrox dish, we have kidneys, bone and silver salver, and there's a scent of cold blood and wood smoke, and the smell of air deals in the hard room.
Skip riding. Skip riding. You can't ride to bloody name. Skip riding. But, but there's a hook on it. You know, we can watch on television. We know who does a bloody corner is. What's he got to do with you? Well, I sent him some of his scripts. Sketches, like. Uh, and he wrote back, offering me a job. Script riding in London. There's a funny television. He's talking bloody wet. I know. I've always said I was going to be a script writer. I have an engineer. For dialogue. You're going to buck my hand across here, you don't follow yourself up a lot. No, I think you don't wish to retire from the library to school soon as the end of things. No, what? You can see that letter. No, oh, what's the point, mother? What is the point? Most people stay 
why? Because we shared tea with both at the time. You know? Yes, she wants to bring that. Where is it? I'll give you to the 
witch on that field on both sides. I told the meteor if we said, did you do this? I've got to get it back with the witch at lunchtime to get back to reading. It takes time. You better sort yourself out back tonight because we're singing that song we wrote, the Roxy. And that's one engagement you're not going to break. Oh, why did I get myself in doors? Because you lie before you think. And why did you tell everyone your mum was in the family way? Someone saw it all day and said, oh, you feel all right. Should you be up in that big bag of sheets? She's coming round to see your dad. Oh, they can't do that. The thing she's bedridden. And what way? The thing is carriage. Oh, I had to be now as going round with a present for the baby. You should see a side guy just fishing. Oh, when you get to London. Bigger selection there. Oh, when you get to London. Yeah, that's it, though. Yeah, no, I got that job script line for Des Hook on it. Yeah, in Clifford, you want me to write songs. Yeah, no, no, I did that. Honest, I can't wait. Sitting on the train, we even go by the spread out. It's full of glasses and headscarves pushing bums out of town. Fat women rolling around in the bad feet. Grey old men in cloth caps reading the racing papers. Here, book of blood. Now we're on Mr. Hampton Fox. I'll do the beer. <laughs>
talk about the cottage. Oh, the cottage. Our cottage. It's a thatch cottage in the field in the middle of Devon. It's got a lovely garden with roses and rhododendrons and a lovely lawn. A little building and a little barbie to play on. And in the summer, we can have picnics down by the lily pond. I we will have a lily pond. What? Well, did you think it's safe for little Barbara and little Billy? What if it fell in? Oh, a little wall around it. Are you looking forward to getting married? Oh, I think it might be all the time, darling. Oh, I still see this ring is doing big. I wish you'd let me get it altered. I want everyone to see it first. Oh, well, don't blame me if you lose it. Oh, you do care, Billy. That's why I love you. Well, you always love me. You know I will. Didn't you have it then? No. Go on. Just till Tuesday, and I'll be there forever. Forever and ever. Let me have it then. No. Get me that go with me. Oh, Billy. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I've been overworking lately. I was on the way to the ball this morning. Good job I've got these to keep me going. Are you sure you wouldn't like one? Just for Billy. Billy? Your hand! Oh, don't you want me to touch it? You know I do. What oh. <laughs> <laughs> is wrong with the people that have feelings? I mean, I have feelings. I think we ought to wait until we're married. <laughs> when we're married, it's in the cottage. You know you make me a don't you? What we wear in the novel in these repressions, darling. These what? Repressions, darling. The, the one I need when he's not. When he's not. I know what you mean, Pet. But you wouldn't respect me. I could look your parents in the eyes, would be. I'm in the legend. When I come for tea tomorrow. Oh, yes. This thing tomorrow. You promise? Yes, yes. I just wanted to talk to you about the day before tomorrow. Why? Well, you know I have, I have a fairly vivid imagination. Well, you have to help if you're going to be a scriptwriter, don't you? Yes, yes. Well, being a scriptwriter, and perhaps inclined to let my imagination run away with me in this one or two things we've got to get cleared up. What things?
I IT will get it. I will not IT will get it. I see it when I see it. Let me know the dress. Let me show the skins. Don't see me. I'll explain later. Hello, Mrs. Bradbury. This is Shimmy I was telling you about my sister from New Zealand. Don't touch me, Bradbury. You're not allowed to know about her very well. You'll see it, I know. Telling people how I expect. Uh, no, no, Mrs. Bradbury. I didn't see that. That was a misconception. <laughs> Thank you. 
school. She works a petrol pump for a filling station on the bike. Why do you lie when you know you'll be found out, Billy? Is she the one that's coming for her tea tomorrow? No. Is Billy that's coming for tea tomorrow? Don't talk to your grandma, but I'm not talking about it. Then don't let me do what I want to pet her all the bloody fun. I'm like a kid down in the house and you're going to talk to me six. Don't you speak to her like that. Don't you dare talk like that. Don't pull his shirt like that. Give me that shirt. It's clean on. Clean shirt. I'll clean shirt and I'll be bloody ill. Oh, the crowd's looking bloody. Oh, God, she's ever one of the chairs. Now look what you've done. Shut up, Jeffrey. Billy, give the smell and salt to the sideboard drop. It's all right, Pet. It's all right. Shut up. Put a feet up. I don't think so. Give me those, Josie. I cursed the day McMillan upon his bloody national bloody service. Yeah, that wouldn't be the mind of me. <laughs> Didn't do half part of our bloody generation. I'm going to vote World War II to prove it. Ah, uh, your generation's been born into my generation's throat ever since. You can go to bloody London as far as I'm concerned. Oh, but he is not! I've finished with him, his fountain pens and his locked drawers. He's not going anywhere, not my He's not right here. There's something missing up there. There's something for dimension up there.
How long have you been back? Oh, a couple of days. Oh, three days. Thank you very much for letting me know. Everyone knew this was in town for me. I'm seeing you tonight. You'll be in the disco, won't you? You won't be. How's the family? Oh, just the same. No, no, my granny's period. She said one of her twins. My heart all really. Oh dear, I do hope she's all right. Yes, so do I. Otherwise, I'll be out for a grand slaughter. <laughs> How is the writing? The novel? Oh, great, I finished it. Going to be published next Christmas. No, you haven't. And no, it isn't. Oh, well, I've got a great title. Two Home and Back. But, but I couldn't decide on the I mean, W.S. Fisher, it sounds like a news agent's. But Billy Fisher sounds like a middleweight. Billy Fisher, there helps someone who's reminding on his slender shoulders. Billy? Billy! Oh. <coughs> Fisher's down! Sensation here at Harrogate, Fisher Floyd in Perth. History is made tonight as the last day of that goes to a woman. I'll give him my best show, Harry, but I was no much for some superior skill. No, 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 no. I didn't tell you. I've been up for the job. Script writing for Dennis O'Connor. Billy! No, no. You've got a minute to look. Dennis O'Connor Productions! You're right. Me there. Read it. Dear Mr. Fisher, many thanks for scripting the gags. I can use some of the gags and play accordingly. I regret to tell you, I do not have staff, but several of the boys do work for me. You might be interested in this. Call them for a chat next time you're in London. Best of luck and keep writing. Des O'Connor. And I told you. It's not exactly a job though, is it, Billy? It's a letter from Des O'Connor, London. That's the place for me. You only me once when your mother took you on a day trip to the planetarium. And about stars and millions ever since. So that to Des. Oh, no, I'll ask you a flat. We'll be all the people in Chelsea. We'll be poets and sculptors and going on the liberation marches. And I'll share a girl, uh, share a flat with a girl called Emo Jim. <laughs> you can stay there as well, in the general mind. It's that sort of relationship. Last time, Billy, you were going to get to Morocco, but the art's still here. Liz, I've been in Morocco every spare minute. Time to be for me here, Viva. The art's a bloody head case, Billy. Jim is so mad. Bloody head case. I am going, though. I am going. I've been sewing things out all day. Look at this, look. What's all that? Guilty remnants of me past. Where, Billy, did that come from? Stolen from Judah Bungalow, <laughs> near Milford Coo. Me and my first name Bungalow, not known. Me and my known, unknown. Farewell, unknown, known. Show me the way to throw him on. Oh, Billy, let's take him with us this very own. Chelsea. I'll have to tell him about about us. Break it gently, Billy. She will understand. Please, do you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to see Shadrach. Tour him this morning. Shadrach, like a word. I'll tell him what he can do with his vision job. I'll see you at the disco at 8 o'clock. Have the good vibes on ice. Yeah, please, you're the only girl who knows how to grin. Or anything about it. Fish. 
Asia, Brazil, Asia. Yes, sir. I'm really the name of the game in business. Great news, eh? Boom, boom. You won't like him as I. Not before he's sacked yet. Great news. The official journal of the British undertaking profession. Oh. Invoices. Unposted. Discrepancy written postage bills. No. Unfinished. Do you really complete it? Challenges. Oh. Obscene letter to the witch mentioning breasts by name. <laughs>
I've heard a lot about this one here. <laughs> I want Fisher because I am only too aware of what is there.
Shall I take her under my drink or anything? Doctor said just let it be. Sleep as long as she likes. Did she seem any better in herself? I think so, Geoffrey. There were a bit more colour in her cheeks. Where's his bloody nibs? In there, cleaning his shoes. Well, Terry, you're doing the bloody bath and all. Keep your voice down, Geoffrey. You can't bring people to the house with him. Do you know? I brought the doctor and him. I want to be all in the living room with Dr. Blakemore. And there's bloody doors here sat there. Kettle's boiling, fire's gone out. He's sitting with his shoes and socks off, picking them up from between his toes. <laughs> and watching Tom and Bloody Jerry on television.
your tank. Wednesday, south of the border, Thursday, Big Slam, the Civil Centre will stop us. We'll follow that one. A special announcement now. I would like to introduce you to two Australian and two local lads. The put them somewhere to take over their latest compositions. So let's have a the car for Arthur Crabtree and Benny Fisher. Arthur and Benny!
says, Rita, Rita, says, Barbara, I, I don't believe you to admit. Really, did you arrange to meet Miss Gill? When I've been waiting outside for half an hour, I have to take myself in. Oh, did it sound so right? <laughs> what do you mean?
always been a man apart. He sort of Lone Ranger in the West Riding. We should both be invisible. Then we could go anywhere at any time. Without people knowing, without having to explain. Please, do you know what I do when I want to feel invisible? I've never told anybody this, not even you. But I have a sort of imaginary country where I go. It has its own people. It's called a like rose. A rose Please, we yeah, have a house one day. We'll have this great big room in it. With a green greenish door. Yeah. And you go through the door. That's it. That's Ambrosia. No one else will be allowed in. No one else will be allowed keys. It will be our country. We will have a house one day, Billy. Just you and I. I've been open since I was home. So high. Yeah, this is not about your class. Not going about playing me at all. Don't put on that silly voice, Billy. Say it straight. I've always known about you and me, Liz. Billy, let's go to London together tonight. Tonight? We can both be invisible there. We can lose ourselves and tell us anything we want. To London tonight? There's a train at 12 o'clock so we can be down in the morning. Breakfast at lights. Uh, I'll get a job washing dishes at the Savoy. Uh, all the contacts are in London. I can see there's all kind of in here. there. I can just drop in. Go home, Billy. And pack a kiss. Pack a kiss. That's all I need. <coughs> Copy savings. 12.40. 12.40. I'll meet you there. Let's see 12.30 to be on the safe side. Hurry now. We don't do it now. We never will. Come on, Billy. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I'm there. I told them I'm going. It, and then I've gone. Let's go then. Oh, I want a sandwich. A pack some. Oh, well, we need some more and some milk. You go through. Get a good seat. I'll only be out for a sec. Hey, hey, you won't be needing your case. Hurry. Thank you. 